What's up guys, this is Garrett from the Slight Delights and me and Courtney were thinking of some ideas and she for videos and she did a video called um, Baby Must Haves or something like that. And so I thought I would do my five must haves for a baby. Number one, I think the number one thing that you're gonna have to get when you get a baby is a wipe box. And I'll show you what I mean. This thing right here, I think is the number one thing <laughs> that you need for when you get a baby. So for example, when you have a little bag of wipes, they're a pain to take out. So when you're changing a diaper, and you open up this little bag of wipes and you pull one out, all of a sudden like five of them come out with it. And so when you're like messing with a screaming baby and you're trying to pull out a wipe really fast so you can, you know, clean them up, it's like the biggest pain in the world. And so Courtney would hear me every time I change a diaper would be like, these dumb wipes, I hate these things. I don't, ah, rah, rah. she'd hear me grouching. And so she got this. And let me just give you an example of, so you have the wipe, or let's see, there you go. And boop, just one wipe. Coolest thing ever. So you, you gotta get a wipe box. Second thing is Courtney mentioned this in her video is a bottle warmer. I think you have to get a bottle warmer because if you're like us, part of my job is uh, feeding him and obviously I can't help a lot except with a bottle. So Courtney pumps a lot and uh, she'll just have milk and stuff in the freezer and or in the fridge and so it's really cold and obviously Coleman the little baby doesn't like cold milk all the time and so put it in a bottle, put it in the warmer, psh, turn a timer on, like less than five minutes, boom, it's ready to go. Otherwise, you have to get out uh, a pot, put some water in it, have it on the stove, turn the stove on, and kind of do it that way. A lot less convenient. Bottle warmer, put it in, turn it on, boom, done. Number three, this one took me off guard, was a really good stroller. I've always seen those strollers that are the really small ones that are kind of like little, almost like an umbrella, they just pop open. And uh, you, you've seen them around, they're kind of the cheaper strollers, but you know, they're compact, they're really good, they're easy to carry around. Uh, but this one took me off guard. Having a good stroller, I think, has made a world of difference. So we got the Bob Revolution. And it was, it was actually given to us by my mom. If I had to go back and purchase one, I probably would. Just because it's so easy to push. It's so nice. Whenever we go on walks or around, the thing is just... A machine it can go over grass it could go over rocks it can go over a uh, pavement or anything super smooth and uh, I mean it has big old bicycle tires on it I think anything with the big bicycle tires they're I think they're they're called joggers they're the best you're gonna love them I was pushing mine around Walmart the other day and it was liquid smooth like I was it was awesome so Good stroller, must have. For this one caught me off guard too, is um, a bottle nipple with one hole in it. So I'll show you what I mean. So most bottles come with these little nipples. And I didn't know this, but different nipples have different holes in it. So there's like a one hole, so it comes out slower, two, three, four, I think up to like six holes or something like that. But so we had, we purchased a bunch of bottles, but they all had like two or three nipples on them. So when he was a baby, when 
like he's still a baby. But when he was newborn, we didn't want it coming out super fast. And we had only two or three whole nipples. And so he would be drinking and it would just come all over his face and just wasting all the milk and, and stuff. So we had to go and find one whole nipples. And they were like a pain. We couldn't find any. Uh, and I realized if you don't know like how many holes or whatever it has on it, there is usually a little number on the side that'll say one or two or something like that. And it shows how many holes it has on the nipple. Had no idea. So that's, that's a good thing to know. Number five, the last one is plenty of burp rags. If you don't know what a burp rag looks like, it looks like this. Just a simple burp rag. Something that just goes like this when you're holding him or when you're burping him. Because I had no idea, but these little babies throw up so much. And so these things have saved me countless of times. And always, whenever I burped him without one, everywhere. Just then you got to go change your shirt and that's you can't do that when you're in public so plenty of burp rags and every time I'm in a room and I have him I'm always look, looking for a burp rag so I have a burp rag seriously in every single room of the house so you can never have too many burp rags and I swear we wash these like probably three burp rags a day you're washing them because they get spit up on them so much so Anyway, guys, that's my five must-haves for having a baby as a guy's or a dad's perspective. So have a good one. Hope to see you soon.